from under the cow. If only I could take a closer look. Oh. <gasps> oh, dear. It's raining and I haven't got my umbrella. What about the wise old elf? Oh. He's under a cow. At least he's dry under there. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Lucy, could you get Bessie to stand up, please? I'm sorry. Cows never get up when it's raining. Uh, Daddy Plum, you may now use magic if you wish. I didn't think you liked magic. Just get me out. If you're sure. I'm sure. Abracazow, up you get cow. <coughs> now, what was I saying? The last thing you said was... Ugh. That's the sound you made when the cow sat on you. Ugh. Thank you, Strawberry. Oh, no! It's a thunderstorm. Everyone back on the bus. Lucy, you'd better go indoors. But I can't. I have to get all the animals into the barn first. Rex can help. <laughs> but what about Bessie and the chickens? Maybe I could try magicking them into the barn. Oh, no! It's too wet for my wand to work. It is working. Look! It's not magic, it's Gaston. He's copying Rex the sheepdog. You watch them wander off into the night? Yes. Oh, all right, cowboys. Let's round up the chickens. Come back, chickens! Chickens, come back! Nanny, remember, no sudden loud noises. We don't want a chicken stampede. All right. You aren't exactly quiet yourself. Ha! Elves are good at being quiet. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. <laughs> the chickens are stampeding. <laughs> we'll head them off at the pass. Head them off at the pass? What does that mean? No idea. But they say it in all the cowboy films. The chickens are heading straight for the fairy village. <laughs> yeah, chicken stampede! <laughs> Which way did the chickens go? They went that away. Yes, that's what they say in cowboy films as well. They went that away. Ah, oh, it's so lovely to wake up to the song of a little bird. <laughs> Good grief! What are those chickens doing here? You said you wanted a chicken, Daddy. I didn't expect you to take me seriously. You're the king. Of course we take you seriously. What are they doing to my flower garden? Eating it, Your Majesty. If you are going to keep chickens, you have to say goodbye to flower gardens. But you can have eggs for breakfast every day. <coughs> and you won't have any problems waking up. There, that's the queen bee. The rest of them always follow her. Good. She's led them all back into the hive. Everyone relax. All's back to normal. Now then, Ben and Holly, what can we do for you? We've come to see how bees make honey. Well, you've come to the right place. This is the beehive, and I'm the beekeeper. We need a jar of honey for the king. No problem. So, I suppose we go in and get some. Where's the door? Hang on, Nanny Plum. You can't just walk into the hive. There's thousands of bees in there with thousands of stings. And they wouldn't be too pleased if we tried to take away their honey. Oh, 
So what do we do? First, we make the bees sleepy. How? Well, it um, involves magic. But I thought you didn't like magic. I don't. But when I'm about to walk into a nest of angry bees, I'm prepared to bend the rules. Who does the magic? Oh, any old fairy will do. Nanny Plum, can you do a sleep spell for me? All right, then. <laughs> oh, Nanny, not the wise old elf. The bees! <sighs> Why doesn't he say what he means? Uh, 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 what, what happened? Right, so just to be clear, you want me to magic the bees to sleep? If you wouldn't mind, yes. They're all asleep. Good. Now it will be much safer. The dragon's egg is hatching. My dad says dragons are dangerous wild animals. And they breathe fire. Oh, I'm scared. Let's run away. Oh, isn't it cute? Hello. Oh, it's so sweet. Gaston, be nice to the baby dragon. Oh. Bad ladybird. Oh. What shall we call it? How about Cuddles? No, he should be called Fang. Yeah, Fang. I like Snuggle Bunny. Fire Claw. What about Dave? Dave the dragon. Yay! <laughs> Dave. That's your new name. <laughs> Dave has got really big paws. That shows he'll grow much bigger. <laughs> what do you want, Gaston? <laughs> oh, all right. Fetch the stick. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Aren't you clever, Dave? <laughs> He wants his tummy tickled. Aww. How cute. <laughs> Dave's the best pet in the world ever. Aww. <laughs> Where's Gaston gone? Oh, I don't know. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We've got Dave. Princess Holly. Home time. Oh, I've got to go now. Bye! The rooms get bored, so they move around. The toilet was on the roof once. Yes, that was fun. But how do I get down to the kitchen? You ask the stairs to go down. Stairs go down. You have to say the magic word. What magic word? Abracadabra? No, please. Oh. Please go down. Thank you. Right, let's get these dirty clothes into the washing machine. How do I turn it on? It's a magic washing machine. You have to talk to it. OK. Washing machine, wash the clothes. Say the magic word. Oh, please. No, abracadabra. Oh. Abracadabra. Goodness, this is harder than I thought it would be. Right, Ben. What does the wise old elf do now? Next on the list, the elf school. Good morning, children. Where's the wise old elf? Today, I'm the wise old elf. Ahem. <clears throat> Magic always leads to trouble. <laughs> <laughs> So, what's today's lesson? We've been building a robot. You can ask him anything. OK, where am I? You are on the moon. That's not right, is it? Uh, maybe ask Laura. OK. <clears throat> where am I? You are at the bottom of the sea. Hmm. Hmm, we won't be needing that door. Bye-bye, door. Good. Now we can fill the courtyard with water. Water, water, splish, splash, splash. 
<laughs> there you go, Froggies. A paddling pool. Daddy will be pleased. <laughs> That's odd. Where's the door gone? It was there earlier. No problem. I'll magic it back. Oh, no. Sorry, Froggies. Polly Thistle, did you do this? Yes, Daddy. You said the frogs needed water, so I made them a paddling pool. That's enough. The frogs must go. Oh. Off you go. Shoo. Uh. Hi, Ollie. Are you OK? No. Daddy says I've got to send my frogs back to the pond, but they won't go. Hmm. What we need is a clever plan to move them. Elves are very good at clever plans, and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your clever plan? We'll play leapfrog. You jump over my back and I'll jump over yours. Hoopla! Hoopla! How's this going to help? Hoopla! Hoopla! Look, they're following us. Hoopla! 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 Here we are, the pond. Well done, Ben. <laughs> uh, she doesn't seem very pleased. If you want food, I can make some with my magic picnic basket. What would you like to eat? <laughs> she likes sweet things. What kind of sweet things? <laughs> jelly? Oh, I can do jelly. Careful, Nanny Plum. We don't want a jelly flood. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Do you want more? <laughs> no problem. Careful, Nanny Plum. Oh, Mr Elf, stop fussing. Jelly, jelly, a little bit more. They all want jelly. Goodness me. We'll be here all day. I just have to make a lot more. No, no Nanny Plum! More, more, more! Whoa! Jelly Plum! The jelly is showing us the way out. Hear something. What's that? Jerry Fudd! What are they shouting? Jerry Fudd? What's Jerry Fudd? Jerry Fudd! No, thank you, Nanny Plum. We've had quite enough of fairy magic. Now it's time for some elf skill. What's your plan, wise old elf? We simply lasso the sails and stop the windmill. Take hold of this rope, elves. Hello? Are you sure this is a good idea? We know what we're doing. Stand back, everyone. He's got it! Hooray! Well done, wise old owl! Told you it would work! <gasps> I hope they're OK! <laughs> they don't look very happy! Elves are never happy! <laughs> Maybe you can stop the spell now, Nanny Plum. Ah! What did he say? Stop the wind. Oh, okay. All winds. 
Away you go! Wise old elf, are you all right? Of course I'm all right. I'm an elf. <laughs> I'll just get my bag of flour. Nanny Plum, I strongly advise you not to open that door. Oh, stop fussing. Ah! <coughs> 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 oh, why has Gaston stopped? He's looking up into the sky. So that's where your wand has gone. How? Um, can your wand fly? My wand is magic, but I don't think it can fly. Well, it's up there somewhere. If only it could talk to us and tell us where it is. That's easy. It can't talk, but it can make a sort of tinkly sound. Great! Could you call to it? OK. Wand! I wand! That's my wand! It's coming from up there! It's a jackdaw! And it's got my wand! Jackdaws like shiny things! It's very high up! And I'm not allowed to fly high! No problem! I'll climb up! Be careful, Ben! Don't worry, Holly! Elves are very good at climbing, and I'm an elf. <coughs> nice birdie. Can we have our wand back, please? <coughs> you, that was lucky. Wow, Ben. Tricking the jackdaw to open its mouth. I would never have thought of that. Uh, yes. Elves are very good at that sort of thing. <laughs> ah, ah. We should go before the jackdaw works out what to do next. OK. Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up! Giddy up! So he wants a bucket of custard and a big jar of pickles? Yes. Hmm. I knew it. I should never have used gnomes. What's wrong with gnomes? Oh, they make everyone else work while they just eat and sleep. Grumbling again, Nanny. I say, are we going on a picnic? No, Daddy. This is food for Mr Gnome. What are we going to eat for dinner, Nanny? There's no food left, Your Majesty. The gnome has eaten it all. Nanny, remember that Mr Gnome needs plastic flowers too. Plastic flowers? They go with the windmill. Windmill? I'd better see what this gnome is up to. <laughs> oh. Ah, thank you, wise old elf. I couldn't have done a better job myself. Oh, look, a pretty bridge. I can see you've certainly been working hard, gnome. Yes, your kingliness. So... When will it be safe for you to leave? Oh, well, I don't think it ever will be, Your Royalness. What? I might have to stay here forever. But what about my golf? I won't get in your way. But you are in my way. Oh, custard and pickles. <laughs> I can't play golf with all this stuff around. I know. We can play crazy golf. Yes, crazy golf. This crazy golf is much better than the other kind. Yes. <laughs> Come on, Barry. Where are you? It's not working. Here, Barry. Come on, boy. Oh, if we're going to catch Big Bad Barry, let's do it properly. Yes! You must do what I say as soon as I say it. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain! Big Bad Barry is too big for that rod. 
We'll use this rod. Wow! You wanted to meet Big Bad Barry? Here's your chance. Excellent. Now we wait, but not for long. Eating him for weeks. He's got the cheese. Start the engine. Full sail. We're not going anywhere. Yes, we are. Bad Barry is pulling us backwards. Hang on. We've got him. We've got him. I think he's got us, Daddy. Holly's right. We should never have tried to catch Bad Barry. He's too big! He's too bad! We have to let him go! Never! Aha! He's given up! I don't think so. He's eating the line! Ah! Then he can have it. I give in. Sorry we tried to catch you, Barry. No hard feelings, eh? <laughs> ah, he's eating Banty! <laughs> Hi, Holly. That was the last delivery. Now we can play. You might have finished, Ben, but I'm still working. Holly, it's time for your speech. Hello. You all look very nice, and I hope you have fun dancing today. Uh... Jolly good show. Jolly good show. What happens now? Now comes the hard bit. We have to sit still and not fall asleep. In honour of your majesty, we will now do a dance. Good. Very good. Come on, Daddy. Let's dance. What? But I... Oh, all right. Could you play something a little bit more modern? Righto. You're right, Holly. King's work is fun. So where are the twins? Um, they kind of flew away. They've escaped! Uh, and they've sort of got my wand. Goodness knows what damage they might do. Don't worry, we'll find them. Elves are good at that sort of thing. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. <laughs> so, how are you going to find them? Easy. Gaston can sniff them out. <laughs> Gaston, find Daisy and Puppy. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, Daisy and Poppy, you're a long way from home. We better ring your mummy and daddy. Bunny rabbit! Now, now, Daisy, that wasn't very nice. Bunny rabbit! What's going on? Bunny rabbit! More, more, more! What's that noise? It's coming from over there. I think we've found my little sisters. <laughs> Pop, 
Rabbity, rabbity. They've turned all the elves into rabbits. Daisy, that wasn't funny or clever. Give me the wand. Kitty catty. <coughs> There's something funny going on around here. Wise old elf, what do we do next? A good question, Holly. Next, we wind the toys up. Look! It works! Wow! <laughs> cool! Go on, do something! Nanny, my owl doesn't work! Don't worry. I'll just give it a little help. <coughs> Nanny Plum, have you been doing magic? Just a teeny tiny little bit to help things along. You are a very naughty fairy. Sorry, wise old elf. <laughs> we'll say no more about it. Now, Holly. Let's see what your owl can do. Oh, it doesn't work at all. Hmm, maybe too much magic went into its making. I can fix it. I'm very good at mending things. Should do it. Hooray! Zigzag zog, make me into a frog. Wow! <laughs> a common frog. Look how slimy it is. <laughs> and how smelly it is. And how silly it sounds. Well, that brings today's nature class to a most satisfactory close. Uh, uh, Nanny Plum, you can turn yourself back now. I don't think Nanny Plum can turn herself back again. She can't pick up her wand. Oh, what a shame. Now, for your homework... But Nanny Plum... We can't leave her as a frog. Can't we? Oh, I suppose not. Uh, which fairy wants to turn her back again? Me, me, me! All right. Holly, do your best. Um, I'm not sure what spell to use. I'm sure Nanny Plum would want you to just have a go anyway. OK, I'll try this. Abracazari! Um, frog to fairy. Oh, it works. Oh, thank you, Holly. Oops. Sorry, Nanny. You did very well, Holly. But you shook your wand a bit too hard. Abracazari, frog to fairy. Hooray! You see, children, it's all in the wand control. Every elf has their bit to paint. One paints the eyes, another the mouth, and another the hair. Amazing! I thought it would be all done by machine. No, we do it all by hand. It looks such hard work. Elves like hard work, and we're elves! Well, thank goodness I'm a fairy. Shush, Nanny. Once the dress is painted, the doll goes through to the dryer. 
and then it's packed, ready for delivery. And here we are, the finished doll. A perfect example of elf workmanship. Isn't the doll's dress supposed to be red? What? Oh, oh, you're quite right, Princess Holly. Oh, never mind. Some mistakes occur when you're making so many dolls. But they've all got blue dresses. <laughs> oh, she's right. We'll have to unpack them all and paint them again. But there's not enough time. I could sort this out in a moment with a bit of magic. Magic is not allowed in the elf factory. OK. I'll just ring up Father Christmas and tell him what's happened. <gasps> I'm sure he'll understand. No, no. Don't ring Father Christmas. Uh, maybe Nanny Plum can use a bit of magic just this once. Good. First, I need my wand. <laughs> Ah, oh, hello, wand. Ahem, blue to red. Hooray! But the tide will be coming in soon and... Please, Mr Elf, please can we stay a bit? Just a little bit, then. We'll pack the car, but you must come when we call you. Yes, Mum! We promise. Oh, look. The sea is coming closer. That's great. Soon the castle will have a moat. Oh, Holly almost left her wand behind. Talking of Holly, let's fetch the children. I don't want to go home. I want to stay in our castle forever and ever. Oh, goodness. Look how high the sea is. Ben, Holly, leave the castle now. We can't leave. The sea's too high. Holly, you can fly to the shore. OK. No. It's too windy to fly. Uh, Holly, maybe it's time to do a little magic. Yes. I'll just wave my wand and... Oh, where's my wand? Here's your wand, Holly. I can throw it to you. But what if it falls in the sea? Don't worry, Holly. Mrs Elf is very good at throwing things. And I'm great at catching. <laughs> OK. Don't worry, Wand. Ben will catch you. Ready, Ben? Yes, Mum. One, two, three, throw! <laughs> Away. Oh, come on, everyone. Try again. <laughs> There's another one. Oh, I give up. They're too hard to catch. The baby bird is very hungry. We really need to find its mummy. Usually the mummy bird comes when her baby calls. But it's not chirping loud enough. <coughs> Nanny, do a spell to make the chick chirp louder. Of course. Zigzag, zig, make it big. Oh, no, Nanny. I think you've got the spell wrong. The chick is getting bigger. I haven't got the spell wrong. I made it bigger to make it louder. Ooh. Don't worry. The spell won't last long. How long, Nanny Plum? Uh, it could last a minute. Or a week. Or... Wearing off. And the mummy bird 
Dad is here. Hooray! What's it saying? The chick says thank you very much and bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Daddy told us to feed Betty, but now she's so big, she'll never fly. Daddy must be wrong. Holly, Daddy's never wrong. He's a king and he's very, uh, wise. But how will Betty fly? Wait and see. Good night, Holly. Good night, Mummy. But how will Betty Caterpillar fly? Well, she won't exactly be a caterpillar anymore. Ah, uh, I don't get it. You will tomorrow. Good night, Ben. Good night, Dad. Morning time! Ben! Ben! Holly! <laughs> Where's Betty? Um, I don't know. But look at that. Ugh. What is it? Don't know, but it wasn't here yesterday. Hiya. Hi, Violet. Hi, Strawberry. Ugh. What's that? We don't know. It's a cocoon. Caterpillars make them. So, is Betty Caterpillar inside? Yes, but when she comes out, she won't be a caterpillar anymore. What will she be? Um, maybe a frog. A frog? Or maybe a bird. I see. Betty Caterpillar's going to turn into a bird. Then she'll fly. First, we need something to turn into shoes. Lemons? No, they need to be shoe-shaped. Ah! Oh. Carrots! Now we need something round and juicy for the jacket. A lemon? No, a tomato. Hmm, what can we use for the crown? Oh, Holly, you remember King and Queen Marigold? Hello, Hello Princess, Princess Holly. Holly. Hello, and this is my best friend, Ben Elf. Hello, Ben. I must say, your clothes are quite, um, charming. Yes. Nice and, uh, sensible. Oh, is it the country look? Uh... I think the way one dresses is very important. My husband won't be a moment. He's just changing into his new clothes. New clothes? That sounds interesting. Uh, well, it is an experiment. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, that's fantastic. Outstanding. Oh. Really? Well, the jacket feels a bit soggy, actually. It looks wonderful. So fresh and exciting. Oh. We were just saying how important it is to think carefully about what you wear. Oh, I don't think I think at all. <laughs> There. Oh, what's that? Yes, I was worried that might happen. Tricky things, magic clothes. <laughs> Silly Daddy, you've got a lemon on your head. Let's try this. Basket, basket, more, more, more. Basket, basket, more, more, more. Phew! For a moment there, I thought we were going to have another jelly flood. <laughs> jelly flood! Jelly flood! Jelly flood! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Jelly flood! <laughs> Nanny, there's too much jelly. Stop it, Nanny! Shazam, shazing! Magic pudding! Shrink, shrink, shrink! 
Nanny, try a stronger spell. I could use the stop magic spell, but that's only for royal emergencies. I declare this a royal emergency. Thunder and lightning, north wind blow. Magic spells, away you go. It worked! Hooray! Nanny, where's our food? Sorry, I had to stop all the magic and that included our magic picnic. That's strange. My food is still here. That's because it wasn't made by magic. And luckily, I've enough for everyone. Thank you, Ben. But Nanny, you said fairies don't eat elf food. Uh, yes. Thank you for reminding me, Princess Holly. We can have a nice time without a picnic. Let's sit and enjoy the view. Mmm, yummy. I'm a bit hungry. Me too. As I said, ladybirds are never happy. <laughs> Gaston, what's wrong? <laughs> oh, dear. Nanny, what did he say? He said he loved his home just as it was. All messy and smelly. Oh, sorry, Gaston. Don't worry, we'll make it just the way you like it. Yes, <laughs> we're very good at making things messy. <laughs> this is fun! Key, a cobweb here, a cobweb there. Brilliant! Sits at Zessy, Gaston's bed, nice and messy. <laughs> Smelly socks and lollipops. Good. Now just a final layer of dirt and we're done. Well done, everybody. That smells just as bad as it did before. Hooray! And if you ever want us to make your cave untidy again, Gaston, don't be afraid to ask. Yes, that's what friends are for. <laughs> Come on, let's play! Hey, wait for us! <laughs> Come on, Gaston! Giddy up, giddy up! <laughs> Can't catch me! Yes, we can! <laughs> King and Queen Marigold don't like country things, and the instruments sound so, uh, Rough. I can fix that. How? I'll just use magic to make the instrument sound more normal. Play me a tune, Mr. Elf. Fantastic! That sounds exactly the sort of music King and Queen Marigold would like. Problem solved. King and Queen Marigold. How delightful to see your little kingdom again, Queen Thistle. It's always such a pleasure to experience your simple country life here. We can't wait to hear some genuine elf music. <laughs> oh, yes. You must hear it. Oh, King Thistle, you didn't tell me you were a conductor. I take a special interest in the sound of this band. I must say, this is not at all what I expected elf music to sound like. They have been practising very hard. These elves play well, but the tune is a little old-fashioned. And their instruments sound very ordinary. I assumed elf music would be more folksy. 
What's that? <laughs> oh, I say. What's that? <laughs> Me to stop? Yes! And please go! Would you like me to go? Yes! Goodbye! <laughs> oh, sleep well. See you in the morning. <laughs> Mr. Gnome is funny. He is silly. Yes, really silly. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good, Good night. night. <sighs> <laughs> <gasps> it's the gnome. He's come back to eat our breakfast. <laughs> oh, a mole. <laughs> oh, it's eating our washing. Shoo, shoo. Go away, mole. <laughs> Princess Holly, do you know a magic spell to get rid of moles? I'm sorry, Mr Elf. I don't. Oh, dear. Think, Mr Elf. What gets rid of moles? Hello. Yes, moles don't like us gnomes. No idea why. Ah, uh, thank you, Mr Gnome, for uh, saving our campsite from the mole. That's all right. What's for breakfast? The mole ate all the food. Oh, dear. Good morning. Nanny Plum! How was your night? It was very strange. Mr Gnome turned up and he loves oranges. And Mr Gnome sang a funny song called Rinky Dinky Doo. Then a mole came along and ate our washing line and all our food. And now we haven't any breakfast. Yes, I thought that might happen. Potato, carrot, onion, peas and cheese. That doesn't sound very special. Shush, I am thinking. Voila! One recipe for a very modern meal. Hooray! This is a library. Can I borrow this book, wise old elf? You can keep it, Princess Holly. Fairy books do not belong in the Elf Library. Thank you. King and Queen Marigold, how lovely to see you. Hello, darling. It's always a pleasure to visit your little kingdom. <coughs> I hope you're hungry. Nanny's been in the kitchen all day. We haven't eaten a thing since breakfast. We didn't want to spoil a dinner made by the best cook in the whole world. I wonder if baked beans are modern. Nanny, we've got a magic cookbook. Hello, Nanny Plum. Oh, you found my cookbook. Where was she? She was in the elf library. What were you doing in there? I was getting very bored. <laughs> <laughs> the book knows a recipe for a modern meal. Oh, good. What are the ingredients? A potato, a carrot, an onion, some peas and cheese. But that's what I would normally cook. Yes, the ingredients are simple, but the way we cook them is not. Now, boil a pot of water. Chop potato, carrot, onion, peas and cheese. And put them into the pot. Boil for one minute and then collect the steam. And serve. Is that it? It is a very delicate dish. <sighs> Hello, Princess Holly. Hello, wise old elf. This is the great elf clock. Wow. The most accurate clock of all. What does accurate mean? It means it always tells the right time. Quite so, Ben. I set it every night by the distant bells. They usually ring about now. Da-da-dum. Do da dee da, 
Da da la la, dum dum di da. Oh, my tummy's rumbling. That means it's time for dinner. Dinner time! Dinner time! The bells! The bells! Now I need to adjust the clock. But that's just Nanny Plum. What do you mean? Nanny rings the bell every night when it's dinner time. <clears throat> and how does Nanny Plum know it's dinner time? Her tummy rumbles. What? You mean I've been setting the great elf clock to a fairy's tummy rumble? Yes. <laughs> Oh, her tummy does seem to be amazingly accurate. It is dinner time. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Ben. See you tomorrow, Holly. <sighs> it's been a long day. I think I'll go to bed early. Uh, Your Majesty, that might be a problem. What do you mean? Well, it's to do with Gaston. Yes? Nanny magic to this basket for Gaston to sleep in. Well done, Nanny. But the basket was too draughty. Hmm. Then he tried my bed, but that was too soft. Oh, dear. I don't like the sound of this. Don't worry, Daddy. Gaston's found a bed that he says is just right. Oh, but that's my bed. What's he saying now? Gaston says he is very tired and would like to go to sleep now. Good night, Gaston. Sleep tight. So, where are we going to sleep? Oh, that was the most uncomfortable night ever. Oh, how long is Gaston going to stay with us? I did say he could stay here until his cave was mended. And how long will that take? I don't know. When you turned Ben into a frog, abracazobadee. You should not have turned him into a bird. Zabadizee. And certainly not into a rabbit. Abracazabadee. No, at the start, you should have made him Ben again. Abracazobadee zabadizee. Hooray! For you, I'm glad that's over. You see, girls, it's easy. Anyone can do it. OK. Can I have another go? No. If anyone can do it, I want to go. Oh, all right. Holly, give Ben your wand. But, but, elves don't do magic. I'd like to give magic a go, just this once. That's the spirit, Ben. Uh, into frogs, abracazobody. Phew. For a moment, I thought Ben was going to turn us into frogs. Abracazobody? Ugh, <laughs> 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 uh, it's no good. Elves don't do magic. Hmm, maybe you just need a teeny tiny bit of magical help. Tricky trick trick. This young elf do magic. There. Have another go, Ben. Into frogs. Abracazobody. <laughs> Hey, it worked! <coughs> Into birds! Zabadee Zee! And into rabbits! Abraka Zabadee! There, all finished! Very good, Ben. But haven't you forgotten something? Uh, what? You need to turn them back into girls again. Do I? Oh, OK then. But we already looked in books for the answer. 
What books did you look in? We looked in my storybook. And we looked in magic spell books. Well, there are different books for different things. There are books with stories in. Ooh, look, witches. And books about how things work. Wow, a rocket book. There are books about music. Oh, palm music for elves. My favourite. Books about animals. Oh, chickens. That's interesting. Books about vegetables. Oh, yes, I like vegetables, especially peas. You can find out any answer if you look in the right book. Ah, here we are. A book on stars. Is this going to have the answer? Let's see. Is everybody comfortable? Yes, yes Queen Thistle. On clear nights, we can see the stars twinkling in the sky. The light we see from each star is tiny. The tiniest little spot of light. We can only see it because the sky is so dark. Black! The night sky is pure blackness. Yes, it is, Holly. But when the morning comes and the sun rises, the sky gets brighter and the stars disappear. But, Mummy, where do the stars go? They don't go anywhere. What? They're still shining in the sky. We just can't see them anymore because the sky is so bright. It's obvious. I knew that. And when the sun goes down and the sky gets darker, we can see the stars again. When the sun goes. Whoa, whoa! Follow that chicken. Oh, no! The clockwork has wound down! Quick, Ollie! Let's wind it up! Oh, hello! Will somebody give me an egg? Now! Goodness me! Lally Plum! I told you not to magic a chicken. That's not my chicken. Nanny, can you speak chicken? Yes, Your Majesty. So, what did it say? Mrs Chicken said... Oh. Look, there's our chicken. Careful, Nanny Plum. That is a dangerous animal. Don't be silly. It's just a chicken. <laughs> the chicken's laid an egg. Hooray! It doesn't look exactly like it did before. <coughs> Please, can you fix it, Nanny? Don't worry. I know just what to do. I knew Nanny Plum would have a spell to fix it. I'm not going to fix it. Are you going to buy a new teapot? No, much simpler than that. What? We'll tell the Queen. <gasps> Excuse me, Your Majesty. What is it, Nanny Plum? Unfortunately, there has been... A little accident. Accident? What happened? I'm sorry to say that your teapot has been broken. Oh, the teapot I said no one was to touch? Uh, yes. Nanny Plum, I told you not to dust that tea set. Yes, Your Majesty. I have a good mind to turn you into a slug. That's a bit harsh, isn't it, darling? Could you turn me into a snail, perhaps, instead? 
No. Mummy, it was me. I did it. And I've been sad all day. <sighs> and now you're going to have to turn me into a slug instead of Nanny. <sighs> oh. Oh, no, my poor darling. Don't be sad. It's only a silly piece of pottery. But, Mummy, you were going to turn Nanny into a slug. Oh, I didn't really mean that. Huh? Sorry I made you sad, Mummy. Oh, Holly, I'm only sad that you felt you couldn't tell me. We did try and mend it. It doesn't look like it did before, but the children have tried their hardest. Oh! That is beautiful. Just as beautiful as it was before.